on Bitcoin frenzy, or will you now get in in terms of some of the other alternatives in cryptocurrency? I don't know a bit about it. If somebody can predict uh, Bitcoin prices with any high confidence, they don't need any advice from me about anything. Mm -hmm. uh, additionally, uh, if they actually think they know where Bitcoin's going, they're probably not going to take any advice from me. So what's the point? A lot of people have made a lot of money. That well, was let, me, let me just say that <laughs> another way to think about Bitcoin, which I don't think most people do, is to take the peak of prior bubbles, whatever they were, forgetting about what you think Bitcoin is or isn't, and line up the peak with trading days before and after and look at the magnitude up and down. And if you look at Bitcoin coming up to this point today and overlay it with the peak, it dwarfs all those other bubbles. Uh, gold a couple of times, 1929, 1990 with the Nakai, 2000 with NASDAQ. You can just go down. This one in magnitude, whether it's a bubble or not, the price move around that dwarfs every bubble that's ever occurred. What does it say, though, about the market, or does it say anything? So what I think about that, which is different to what most people think, is that in every normal cycle that bull markets are born on pessimism, grow on skepticism, mature on optimism, and die of euphoria, as you move through that optimism phase and you're about to start facing euphoria, you hit a period where there's some kind of window pane into the euphoria that's separated from the classic stocks where you'll see it later. And that's what I think Bitcoin is. I think it's the window so we haven't into the euphoria seeing the euphoria yet. Oh, well, we, we still have people worrying about stuff that's nonsensical. We still have people worrying about high valuations, which have never been predictive on a one, three, or five-year basis. We still have people worrying about new highs in the market, which they stop doing when you get to euphoria. When you get to euphoria, they don't worry about all the normal stuff because they think it's a new world and it's all different now, which is, of course, John Templeton's famous line that the four most dangerous words in the English language are it's different this time. Mm -hmm. But you get to that part where they stop worrying. When they stop worrying, that's the time to worry. Well, the, it, the bubbles never burst when everyone's asking whether it's a bubble. That's the right. Other thing. But, which which I is mean, a scary back, concept. Back during 98 and 99, I mean, we did talk about we, you know, if the annoying comparisons of of where those internet stocks were. Remember, right. they were, you'd, you'd add up Boeing, Ford, and something out, and they'd get to the same market cap as AOL or Excite.com or something. Like that. And now it finally came home to roost, but not for a while. So right. Bitcoin's only 400 billion, isn't it? It's like. Yeah, it's a little thing. That's why it I think is, it's a window pane. I mean, it can go to a trillion dollars easily before. It, it's the same thing in the early 90s that Netscape was. Right. It's that window pane into something we haven't seen for a long, long time. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it's that window pane into the coming euphoria. What do you mean pane? Oh, oh the, the glass yeah, itself? Yeah, glass. It's the view. It's the view shed yeah. okay, into this thing coming. Okay. Pretty simple concept.